Everybody, welcome back. This is another cube draft here on Magic the Gathering online.com slash UK dot org. What's our first pick here? Do we just try the bribery? We could take this Amano Liliana, which would make Kerwit very happy, I assume. Thank you. <coughs> Garrett, thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Welcome back. Long time no see, man. Long time no see. Huh. Hmm. It might just be bribery. The thing is, there's a lot of bounce in this cube. Like, Benser, Riffling Cloud Skate, Cyclonic Rift, Teferi, Teferi. So my concern is you're just going to get a creature that... They just take back. Uh, I'm gonna take Zillion. I haven't played this Zillion in this cube yet. Ooh, Brazen Bar. Speaking of bouncing creatures, also a Pluto Delta. I have not played this Zillion yet in this cube, and I think it could be very good. I also think Brazen Bar is probably very good too. I'm gonna take Brazen Bar. Uh, Jace Vryn's Prodigy. That's a solid dude. And I bet Yogmoth or Eat comes back. Or Negate. I'm gonna take Jace. It's hip to be a square. Bink, 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 bink. Back my baby. Now I just got a different Yui Lewis in the new song stuck in my head. This is ridiculous. I'm taking Dark Slick Shores for obvious reasons. Katie's actually even work right now. Usually she's like six. It's like an hour and a half difference. It's hip to be square. Please tell Katie, thank you for keeping animals healthy. I love animals. <laughs> I'm going to copy and paste that to her right now. Cassius, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Really appreciate you. Um. Huh. Almost two years of amazing content, such a fun, positive impact on my daily. Thank you, thank you for saying so. That's a great compliment. I appreciate you. I kind of like Kolagon's command here. Because <laughs> why wouldn't we be three colors, guys? It's cube. We're not here to play two color dirtle decks. We're here to play three color dirtle decks. Oh, Croxa? And Lily? And Fumi? Jeez. Thank you. I think I just want Croxa. Chains Addiction. Thank you for the resub. You guys are great. I really appreciate you guys. Happy birthday. It's not... I'm not Michael B, David. I'm not Michael B. Katie said, oh my gosh, that's so nice of them. <laughs> oh, man. That's good times. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Oh, the Frank Support Fund. Five Frank Support Bucks. Guys, if you haven't heard of the Frank Support Fund... It's a great charity that you can donate to to help Frank out. To pay his, you know, to pay his monthly rent, to help with his bills, to get to improve his his uh his quality of life. It's hip to be square. I just gave these little doggies little treats. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Dreadbore, Drowned Catacomb, Sublime Epiphany, and Gristlebrand. I've never actually had a Gristlebrand in my deck or cast a Gristlebrand. Yeah, for the price of one coffee a month, you could support me on Twitch. And even if you even if it's not, you could even play you can use Twitch Prime. And that's not even a coffee. And that's free. Oh man, this is actually a great pack. I like Epiphany a lot. I think it's I think it's Dreadbore. I think being able to kill Planeswalkers is just too good. I hate passing a Drowned Catacomb. Oh, now we're talking. Okay, so this is a swamp and a mountain. And this is just nothing. Okay, so yeah, swamp mountain seems good. Thank you. What up, little Wallace? Mog Fanatic, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the resub. Welcome back, my dude. What's the best wedge in this cube? Fuck, I don't even know, dude. You passed big teeth? I did. I think the best wedge is Niv-Mizzet Reborn. I think that's the best wedge. That's a wedge, right? Ooh, I like a Noxious Gear Hulk. I don't know how good Olivia Voldaren is. She seems very fragile and very... Uh... We could also cut the blue and be like Mardu. Either way, I'm taking Gear Hulk. How come I can't announce my subscription? Potato. I don't know, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say you had a stroke. Potato wedge. Okay, we're 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 getting we're going. Other color triomes would be great. I would love to have all ten triomes. Hmm. Busy mortar seems good. Potato wedge is the best wedge. Yeah, I agree with that. It's hip to be square. Oh, yeah, I knew the E2 Extinction would come back. That's a that's a that's a definitely a playable. Being able to get rid of planeswalkers in this format is really vital. Also, big creatures, anything that anything that you can kill is really good. You know, just kill kill all the things. Ooh, temporal mastery. Also, duress. I'll take the mastery. We can finally take some turns here. Is it to be square? Interesting. Four blue cards came back. I like a disallow. Sure. Shut up and take my money. Oh, what's happening? Squirrelness, my last living on fumes buck going to a good worthy cause, the Frank I appreciate it. I hope you I hope you don't live on fumes for much longer. Extinction event? Yeah, it's actually playable. Squirrel nest, I appreciate you, my dude. What do we got here? Oh, my other least favorite land. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the there's the sweetie boy. Oh man. Phantasmal image, force of negation. I don't know how many blue cards we're gonna have, I don't even know if we're playing Master of Waves here. Thank you. One hundred pizzas, thank you for the sub, buddy. Man, I love one hundred pizzas. If someone was like, What's your favorite meal? I'd be like, hundred pizzas.
What's the best shard? That's the same as the, that's the same as the last question you asked. <laughs> well, actually, wedges are from Cons of Tarkir, and shards are from Alara blogs, so they are completely different. <clears throat> I think Phantasm is just probably better than Reaper. If I may, oh wow, that Professor Frank is friggin' bananas. Oh, Snapcaster? I haven't even seen a Snapcaster in this cube. But with Dreadbore, Coligon's Command, Disallow, I feel like we're definitely on board for a Snappy Boy. Maybe that Mana League comes back. Ooh, I like 4 Mana Chandra. Swamp Island. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna take the Chandra. And then pretty soon we're gonna take lands, I promise. I promise there's gonna come a time where we start taking lands. But not today. Meh. Nah. Just take Avalanche Rider. Oh, Scarab God? Yes. Yes. We're living the dream right now. Island Mountain. Okay. Guys, I'm doing a charity stream tomorrow, okay? I'm doing a charity stream, and I need to figure out, like, incentives. But I need them to be serious. I need, I need like, serious suggestions, not like, you could give away a thing, give away three, you know, like, nothing ridiculous. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely asking for, for suggestions. Uh, the charity is Gamers Outreach. And we're doing a, we're doing a charity stream tomorrow. Which will be Tuesday, September 29th, for those watching on YouTube. So it's probably going to be... Actually, it might be... Lunch with... See, this is what I mean. That's not a humble suggestion. Everyone loves opportunities. When someone asks for help or advice in a chat, everyone loves an opportunity to be a comedian at that point. They're like, I can tell a funny joke here. This is my moment. And... Uh... I'm just trying to be like, look, please, just give me... Because I'm really... I'm, I'm struggling to come up with ideas for, like... For, like, incentives. So, like, they want, like, one at 300, one at 600, one at 500. Like, things that happen when we reach goals. Like, milestone incentives. I do not have very pricey packs. No, I don't just keep, I don't just keep pricey packs around. Deck advice is good, but like, so the problem is like, I'm not like, hey, if you if you donate twenty, I'll offer this. If you offer forty, like, they want um, milestone goals, right? Like, so, hey, we made it to six hundred. Let's do this thing. I, I I'm really like, Karanos is great. Also, you have an incentive for you and someone doing a Zoom lunch. I want some cube staple Frank altars. <laughs> Buddy, you don't want my altars. They would not be great. Oh, I like chat draft. That's actually pretty good. Let's write that one down. Chat drafts. Okay. That's good. Now we're talking. So the problem is like, okay, so it, when we hit the $600 goal, I can't have it be a thing that like affects one person, right? I can't be like... You know, I'll do a lunch with this person. Because, like, then it's like... Well, I don't think it's... It, you no, know, I don't think it's it's tied to product at all as the thing. Because it's like... We're hitting the goal as a community, right? So it's a community... It's like a community thing. Like, it's like, you know, eat hot wings or something silly. But, like, I don't want to do, like, crazy stuff that's, like, not great for, for health. <laughs> like... Like, drink a thing of Listerine. And it's like, I don't really want to do all that, so... Yeah, see, I don't really want to shave my head is the thing. Like, I don't really want to do something that's going to affect me adversely in the real world on a day-to-day -day basis. So, <laughs> you know.
Yeah, I could see doing a day of commander with Michael B. I'll put it on the list. How about shave half your head? See, that's what I mean. Like, it's these aren't like they're not just not helpful. Like, I, <laughs> I, I mean, I could literally go down the list and be like, "Well, this is why I'm not going to do that." But like, you, we all know I'm not going to do that. Uh, pack round is interesting. Wally does a draft. Oh, I kind of like community written Mad Libs. That's actually kind of a cool idea. I think it's just Packrat. Packrat doesn't seem as good in this cube for some reason. I don't know why. It might just be Forked Bolt. It's a nice piece of cheap removal. Thirty minutes of accent draft could be good. I feel like the only accent I can I can effectively do is like a British accent. I feel like every accent other than a British accent is kind of like low key racist. It's mono red stiff. Wow. I like community written, written Mad Libs a lot. That's a, see, that's a good one. Seventeen minutes of shadow boxing. Yeah, see, uh, the goal is to get people to view the stream, shadow not to leave the stream. Money. How long until he gets locked out again, Dollar? Wait, who are you talking about yourself? <laughs> oh god. Unlock alternate games, play a few rounds with the chat. I I like that. Because I want to do that anyway. Glint's Loop Cypher seems good. We also have Brazen Borrow, Vendillion Click, and that's probably it. So, so Octopus is probably not great. <laughs> At $1,000, Frank finishes Death Stranding. Buddy, you're going to have to donate more than 1000 for that one. God. This is like, we have another pack left or no? Wow, this deck seems really good for having a whole pack left. Plus, we have four fixing lands already? Like, it's not bad. Frank takes an online IQ test? That's actually pretty hilarious. I don't actually hate that either. Boy, I'm really putting it out there if I do that, though, right? Like, you guys could be like, well, how did you get this one right? I could have done that. I was do. I finished it. I got it correct. And I'd be like, okay, well, I'm sorry. Okay. Kerwit, let me know how you're feeling about the Yeezy Carbons that got that got opened today for pre-order or for reservation, rather. Mike takes it all on IQ test. Mike is gonna be at work, unfortunately, so it's just gonna be me. Brett, are you really 03 against or OX against me? Is that true? I know we played some two out of giant stuff. I don't know how many like one on one like matches we've played though in like pre releases and, and, and FNMs and stuff. Yeah, half of them are two out of giant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. I definitely remember our two out of giants. The cinnamon challenge is miserable. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. At a thousand, I read the Wikipedia article on the ending of Death Stranding and tries to understand it. I think we know I wouldn't be able to. See, but I feel like the, the cinnamon challenge and the milk challenge are going to make me physically disgusted.
For those curious, Kerwit did not like the carbons, unfortunately. I like them a lot, though. Oh, look, we're still drafting. It's true. Paternity test to see if your mic's a dad. Oh, God. Is that a shoe? Yes, it's a shoe. It's a shoe. Oh, worm coil is nice. Lightning, but fallen shinobi. Do we fall in shinobi again with Vendillion Click and Brazen Borrow? Oh, man. Kind of has worm coil, lightning bolt, gaunty remand. If any one of these four come back, I'm going to be real thrilled. This pack is pretty weak for non Grixis colored cards, though. A Fibblethip cosplay. Guys, I don't have time to make this before tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are utterly ridiculous. I do appreciate some of these suggestions. Um... I like Frank plays Among Us with chat. Like, would there be enough of you guys? Would you guys be interested in playing Among Us? I have not played a single game of Among Us, so... You guys would have a significant advantage over me. See, packs like this, I just kind of hope that there's going to be a a, pl uh, a fixing land. Because I'm like, this is like, I don't care about these. Sower could be decent, I guess. Shriek Maw is fine. But like, they're not impressive, so I'd rather just be like, this is a great opportunity to fix my land. Just take sour. Sour, as Michael would say, sour of temptation. I'm not a fan of the arena style cards. What are the arena style cards? What does that mean? Would you do a run in Chandelar? I don't actually know where my Chandelar disc is. I literally had both of the Microprose Magic games, and I don't know where they went, so. So, you know, I got that going for me. We have, like, no planes. We have one Planeswalker. Is it? Is this an Immortal Sun deck? Maybe. We also have Bitter Blossom with Fallen Shinobi. Yawgmoth did not wheel, unfortunately. Oh, uh, I do not have one of those gummies that nearly killed Mike. Nor do I want to do that. See, that's what I mean. Like, I don't want to do physical stuff where, like, I'm actually hurting myself. I don't want to be physically uncomfortable on stream for, like, seven hours. <laughs> you know? So I'm trying to avoid that. That's why I'm, like, vetoing any food stuff. Oh, I love these showcase borders. Like, these are, these are my jam. It's either Bitter Blossom or Immortal Sun, I think. Uh, I think I've read all the fanfics. I want to take Immortal Sun. Bitter Blossom might come back. I don't think Immortal Sun ever will. Oh, Karn and Gravy Tea? Jeez. Oh, alright. Well, thanks, Magic, for reimbursing me for that event. That probably messed up at some point. See, this pack is great. Compulsive, Murderous, Lava Coil, Marsh Flats, which gets both of our Triomes. Actually, it doesn't get this one, I lied. I think it's Gravy Tea. 
Like, I'd take Murder Scub. We already have Doomblade, Dreadbore, Mizium Orders, Colagon's Command, Fork Bolt, E2 Extinction. We have a lot of removal. We have Sower of Temptation. I think I just want Grave Titan, and we'll cut the Immortal Sun for now, because I don't think it's better than Liliana. Frank throws Mike a birthday party. See, that's pretty hilarious. Uh, Cryptic Command being triple blue is pretty hard. Muldrifter being single blue. Cryptic Command triple blue. Muldrifter single blue. And I'm just going to take it. Is he getting home already? Maybe. Oh, Master Waves can go for sure. You're not a main deck card. Does Wooded Foothills get both of mine? It gets Mountain. And it gets Mountain. Yeah, that's actually pretty juicy. I do like a Cyclone. Actually, Arid Mesa might be better, right? Because it's also getting... I mean, <laughs> getting the same thing, right? But... Lava Claw Reaches, yes. We are definitely at the uh, take the fixing portion of our... This is not fixing, but it could be decent. Probably better than just random Night's Whisper, right? Gonti came back. Heartless Act, also decent. Mm, Elder Spell seems fine. Uh, Shell Duck is not that great in Modern Cube. It's not nearly as good as it is in Vintage Cube. Like, you're not hitting things like that are crazy. Registrar and Shivenfire. Mm. Take Mimic Vet. Uh, I'll take Shivenfire. We could just want the random... Murderous Cut and Com Compulsive came back? Wow. Red War, Karaksa. I think Cut is probably better. Flame Slash, sure. Thassa. Thassa with Mull Drifter. Sower, Meh, Vendillion Click. Meh, we don't nearly have enough targets for that, unfortunately. I think our deck looks pretty decent. I hear you, little bud. I hear you. Guys, take it easy. Take it easy. All right, we need two cuts here. I like Temporal Master. I just want to be hitting that. Liliana seems great, so we'll keep Immortal Sun on the sideboard. Uh, I feel like it's got to be two drop of some sort. Maybe Forked Bolt can be boarded in. Like, we have a lot of decent one-mana removal here for, for, like, the more aggressive decks. We also have an Extinction Event. I kind of want Gonti in here. I think Gonti is probably better than Sower in a vacuum. <gasps> Excuse me. You're you're ideally a two-drop. You're never a two-drop. Give me a break. Um, I kind of want one of these, actually, just to be... Like, because you have Snapcaster, so, like, having, like, a Flame Slash. This is the same card, except one costs five and one costs one. Okay, so we'll make it an instant, but we'll add four more to the casting cost. Like, Gonti and Sewer? What was my first cube experience? That's a great question. Um, I don't know if I even remember my first cube experience. I don't know if we want Disallow. We're definitely kind of a tap outy deck. Like, we're definitely playing, like, Chandra and Fallen Shinobi and Gonti. I 
I guess we do have Mizia Mortars instead of these. I think that's fine. The 6x? Are you talking about Grave Titan? I know you meant sour. I was joking. God. Are you are you saying Grave Titan's not very good? This is wild. I mean, you might be right. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, whenever I, whenever I question your... Um... Your opinions, I'm definitely leaving up the possibility that you're completely right. The 6-6 six, six for 2. Oh, Croxa? Really? I was like, Grave Titan? What are you talking about? Okay, thank goodness. Um... I don't know. I've had good. I like. I've won games with Crocs just because they can't. Like they'll. Like there's so many. There's very. There's. There's a good amount of times where the opponent just doesn't have cards in their hand, and you just attack them and they take three, and they it's still six six. I don't know. I, I've had good experience with Croxa. I think Sower is probably good. Good lord, this this format's hard. Is it just temporal master? We just. Add in sower. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, so... We're definitely <laughs> heavy. I mean, like, we could cut Chandra, maybe, because we just don't have that many red sources. Actually, I mean, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red sources. Alright, let's start with that. Black, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three... Iron Mesa gets both triumphs, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That seems good. Nine, ten, like seven. I like Flame Slash, but we also have Mizium Orders and Doom Blade and Colagon's Command and Dreadbore and Murderous Cut. So I think our I think our removal is good. Plus, like I think the upside of Mizium Orders is significantly higher, but we do have. We're not. We don't have a ton of red. I think Flame Slash is just better than Mizium Orders. Yeah, my eye feels real weird right now. Like it's doing a thing. I feel like it's twitching right now. Um, <laughs> no blue sources, but with ten in the deck, nine in the deck, I'm feeling okay about it. I'll, I'll, I'll risk it. The biscuit must be risked. Do they mulligan? No, they're just taking their time. T -t -t Today, Junior. Oh, Dillon Mace, welcome back, my dude. Oh, Badger's okay. I haven't seen Badger in a while. You know what's even better than an island? A blue card. <laughs> What if you risk a risky biscuit? Well. Oh, wow. Look at this turn. Wow. Such mana. Much wow. Wow. One, two, three, four. So they have five mana this turn? This is where the acidic slime my trium, and I'm just like, okay. Elder Gargroth would also be pretty. Fucking Christ. Kill me. I can't actually deal with that for two turns. So I'm make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, ten mana next turn. Yep. Seems good. Ten mana, we take nine damage between now and then. What is going on with my freaking eye, dude? They didn't attack? 
What? Dark Slick Shores off the top. Oh, they're just making a food? Sure. I mean, you could still could have done that, right? Like... Weird. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Oh, they can untap this. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They can make twelve mana. Totally reasonable on turn four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, twelve mana is totally reasonable. Dylan Mace with a gifted sub. His generosity continues. Dude, my eye is feeling so weird right now. It's like, I don't know what's going on. You guys are watching it happen. Yeah, it's so weird being alive. Oh, Jesus. It's just like itching. What the fuck? What? What? That's your. What? What is happening? What if Nissa? Uh, bit my tongue. What if Nissa said those lands are creatures for Shut as long up, as Nissa is money. in play? That'd be great, right? One itchy eyeball, Buck. <laughs> oh lord, that's all I've ever wanted, really. Did they not even activate her? Can someone explain to me what the fuck is happening? I don't really want to put Arid Mace in the graveyard, so I'm going to say no. Because it can get our second Triome. Your eye and tongue, what's happening to your butt, buddy? I don't even know, man. Oh, good. Your favorite and mine. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you have exactly five, though. I feel like we're still in really bad shape here. not great. I mean, if I knew the top card was like... Man, my kingdom for any an extinction event for naming three. We'd get rid of one, two, three, four. That would be pretty wild. They're gonna respond with making a food, sure. I mean, this this could be another example of why, you know, like, a three-color deck versus a two-color deck. But, like, again, like, they don't even have a mountain. Like, they're literally just playing off Gilded Goose and Sylvan Carry added here, so it's not... Okay, well... Cool. Yeah. Boy, these, these draws... Fuck it, they're, they're playing Nyssa. They're not attacking with their 3-3s. Three and they're also not even activating Nyssa on the following turn. So it's like... Okay. Seems good. Oh boy. Let's bring in Extinction Event. Let's take out Chandra. She was a little 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 sus. Let's bring in I just spilled beer on my desk. It missed the switch, though. Okay, so that's that's the important part. Also, flame slash kills his royal his royal beastness. Um, maybe one more. 
uppercut. Probably could crocs it here. I want to reach out and grab you. Old Quest Burger. The old Quest Burger. Super friends, are you at work today? Are you just... Are you just hanging out? At, are you making sandwiches while you're watching? You know, his royal beastness, if you're not into that whole brevity thing. Where's your phone? Is What's your phone? How's your... What's your setup right now? Okay, so we can get our teamer shard. You know... I'm the Beast, or Il Beastarino, his royal beastness, if you're not into that whole brevity thing. I'm not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. Island and mountain? Beautiful. It's beautiful, it's true. Oh, oh yeah. Phone is on the charger in the back room. Wait, what are you watching me on then? Are you in the back room? Because I actually got a case. My, my phone, I got a case for it and it's got a kickstand, right? So I'm like, if I wanted to watch something, I could just be like, oh, I'll just prop it up on a little desk, right? And then I can watch the stream. But I know not everyone has this. So like, I'm like, what's your setup? Where's your phone sitting, bro? What is this deck? Now they just have Mountain Copper Line Gorge with Earthshaker Kenra. I have no idea what we're playing against here. It's the most weird deck I've ever seen. If I get to draw one card off Glint Sleeve Siphoner, I will feel vindicated. Has this phone taped to the Honey Mustard Squeeze bottles? <laughs> See, that's funny. See, that's comedy. I'll just take two here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that guy's fun. That guy's fun at parties. Jesus. Oh yeah. Oh, we can V-click it away? Oh, that's... That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Love and life. Buzz, buzz. Let me see your beautiful hand. I bet it's going to be unbeatable. Siege Gang is very good. Pyromancer, Nissa, and Clothis. So you can only play one of those other two. We can eat to extinction Nyssa. <sighs> Siege Gang's kind of annoying. How much do we care about Clothis? <sighs> Have you done any stips yet? I actually haven't. This modern cube has been stip free so far. So I'm, I'm definitely open. If you guys want to shoot, shoot me some steps in the next week and a half uh, and support the channel, I'm more than down to, to step it up. Uh, I think it's got to be Clothis. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we got rid of the Clothis. This is the five that we're looking at here. If we also draw Fallen Shinobi, I'm okay with that. We can just... Bounce our Vendillion click and then get rid of the Siege Gang Commander, uh, presumably. No, we wouldn't have time to do that. Sure. So this guy's gone. You also played a Mountain. And Forest Forest is gone. So we know Siege Gang, Nissa, and two other cards. Hmm. Well... How does it feel to be one of the best 
basket paper. We're just gonna play this. They're gonna I assume they're gonna play Nissa or CG Boy. And we take seven though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can deal eight, ten. We can put them to one, which is pretty funny. CG boy. Interesting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we're probably just playing this guy. And I'm going to say yes. Okay, well, we don't have enough to do anything, but that's okay. <sighs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ugh. It's pretty rough. This gives us three, four, five, six, seven. They play Nissa. They can't really do anything with Nissa. We just have to block like a bunch of dudes. That's totally fine. They could go one, two, three, four. They could sack three to kill three of our blockers. That leaves with Grave Titan and like a just Grave Titan. But then they only have three guys. They could also just sack this and put us to one. In which case we need one, two. They can also just sack the ones we block and probably kill us. That's actually pretty bad for us. Yeah, I don't think we can risk anything here. I might just be dead, actually, to Siege Gang. I mean, if we kill this, they have one, two, three, four, five guys, and we have nothing else to do this turn is the problem. Especially if they play Nissa, then they have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, six guys. And we're just kind of hoping they don't see it, right? Oh boy, I think they're definitely, uh, I think they're definitely aware of the situation. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we have five, so we can block everything but one, and they have enough mana to sack everything. Yep, that's probably going to be the game. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, that's really... God, CJ and Commander is a hell of a drug. Yeah, it's really funny that they see this line, but they literally play Nyssa, they don't attack with their 3-3, three, three, and they forget to activate Nyssa. It's actually pretty comical. Yep, go to one. Cool. Fun match. One with Nyssa and Siege Gang Commander. 
Even though Nissa didn't even have a fucking activated ability. <laughs> Jesus. Oh god. Uh, killing commander with command was not viable in the sense that, like, they would still overrun us with creatures. Like, we had 2-1 and 3-1 on the board. That was the only creatures we had. We don't get to keep up Grave Titan if we do that. They had 2-1, 2-2, 1-1, 1-1, 1-1, 2-2, 1-1, 1-1, 1-1. And then they get to play Nissa, which makes it 3-3. So, like, we get to block this and a 2-2 two, two. and while we're at 7 we still take 5 and they still have Nissa on board so it's like I mean it doesn't really save us which is funny because I boarded in like 5 pieces of removal the 3-1 flyer can't block but the Van Vanillion click can't I, I, wasn't, I was talking about you're talking about Brazen Borrower I'm referring to uh, Vanillion click and Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Cube, man. Cube. I agree with you. What are the odds this Jace resolves, you think? I feel like it's low. Oh, it was high. Frexy Metamorph Copy Jace. Compulsive Research. Sounds good. Hello, my dear. Are you okay? I'm so tired. Oh, is your voice okay? Your voice is not okay? No. Oh, no. Oh, like his voice is, a, not, his, is just fine. How you doing, babe? I'm really good taking now. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. Good seeing you. Katie's gonna Katie's gonna go take a nap. Come on, little doggies. Come on, little doggies. Um I don't even want to loot really because I kinda like our hand. So Is it a mono blue deck? Oh, it is a mono blue deck. Um, okay, so you get to go Muldrifter next turn, which is fine. Teferi is actually kind of problematic, but I don't think our deck cares about Teferi that much. I think I'd rather just take Muldrifter, to be honest with you. No, I don't agree with always loot. I mean, I like my hand. I don't want to discard anything, right? Like, so if I draw Grave Titan, then I have to discard a good card for a Grave Titan. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. That's fine. I, I accept that, but... Bore this idiot. What's the logic of not always loot? Like, okay, so it's the same logic of like. This is actually an interesting discussion. Like in in limited specifically, uh, in cube drafting, even more specifically, 
sometimes people are like, you know, you know, there's this strategy where like you shouldn't play 61 or 41 cards because there's always a worst card. You're always going to want to draw another card over another. But I don't think that's true in limited. Because you have specific answers for specific things. If I have like one copy of Nature's Claim in my deck, um, there are situations where it's just better than Doomblade. It's better than a removal spell, right? Like if I have to, it's better than like a creature. If I have to have that thing at a given time, then I don't want it in the graveyard, right? Like, if I drew Nature's Claim right now, if we were a green deck, I would just discard it. I'd be like, okay, I don't need this. This is not a card I want to draw. But there could be a part in the game where I need that card. And so, like, just randomly discarding a card because you don't need it right now denies you the ability to have that card later in the game is, is, my, is my philosophy on that. Like... Like, I don't think there's any specific card that's, like, 100% better than other cards. Like, Grave Titan's a great card. But if your opponent has Craterhoof in hand, you're going to want a Thought Seize instead. You know what I mean? Like, there's... And, like, so having the the access to those cards uh, seems better. What are they doing here? Vendillion Click. Interesting. So you don't have Teferi, but they chose the Vendillion click instead. Huh. We could could Coligon's command, but we don't really have. You could also miss the card because you didn't Yeah, sure, but I don't need that card right now. There's no card I need. So I don't have a specific card in mind that I'm looking for. So that's the point. Like, I don't have enough information in this game to know what I'm looking for to dig for no for no value. My hand is good. I have playables. I have threats. I have all kinds of things. It's like it's the same philosophy of pondering or preordaining late in the game. Like you don't you don't want to do it on turn one a lot of times because I mean you can obviously, but you you often want to know what you're looking for, right? Like if your opponent plays a threat, ponder and preordains are great ways to find those things. See, like, looting now, I could I could loot now because I want to get rid of... I don't care about Glensleeve Siphoner. And I think we can probably find something better than Mold Drifter to do here. Alternatively, though, we can keep up Kolagon's Command and Glensleeve Siphoner. But the only other mode here is Discard a Card, and that doesn't seem great against them right now. I agree with that. If you're doing a turn one, you're almost always looking for, like, smoother draws. For sure. But we could also loot post Mall Drifter. Um, let's just attack here. I mean, I'd rather trade and then Coligon's command to get back. Vendillion click. We could also draw to try to hit Fallen Shinobi. See, that's a card we're looking for. But like, if you have a one in twenty-seven chance, so I think I'd rather just. Watch, there's gonna be a fallen shit over here. Oh, you drew a counter spell. You drew thought scour. Okay. I'm gonna laugh if fallen shit like top card. Okay. See, now we have now we have easily something we can discard here with a Jace Aru. So you got black, 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 blue, blue, blue. So we're probably getting rid of the blue and keeping the black. I, mean, I have Colagon's command in my graveyard and Jace flips, so this is a great trade for us. Plus they have Yorion, like, to blink their own Vendillion click, so... I mean, the, the number of reasons we have to, like, 
take down Vendillion Click there is like hundreds, hundreds of reasons. Oh, so now we call Agon's command, get back Muldrift or kill Jace? That's pretty good. Let's get rid of Island. Scramble God. We have two of the four cards in their hand. I mean, for a mono blue deck, this is pretty decent. Red, blue, black. Return a creature. See if this does anything. Oh, wow, it did. Free card from Shelly. Sounds good. Is it just Ulmog? Ancestral Vision? Sure, that's fine. I mean, you got seven cards in hand, but like, they're at 11 and we have five power on board. Okay, that's fine. I think Logic Solve for why I played 41, but I still think you need a pretty compelling reason to not loot. Maybe you do miss something by not having the picture as you loot but it's an important decision that generally equates to more opportunity. Um... I don't know. I could just be extremely biased and, and... You're gonna bounce my Jason response? You're gonna disfigure it? You're at seven? Okay, so you're just dead now. That's insane. Okay. <laughs> like, all right. See you later. Okay, so they're playing like a mono blue nonsense deck hmm interesting I think we can take eat out for shiv and fire which is weird but they have a lot of they have mull drifter they have vendillion click take out mortars Um, I think Disallow is probably fine. Avalanche Riders could be actually funny, funnily, funnily decent against them, especially with Thassa. Take out Gear Hulk. Sower could actually be decent against Jace, which we did see. Yeah, I think we're definitely bringing Avalanche Riders for sure. I also like the Planeswalkers in our deck because they seem strong. Like, we can just play Avalanche Riders and Thassa. Thassa being able to blink Gonti. Um, is it Target? Yes. Mull Drifter. Mm, Thassa seems a little too cute, I guess. I think it's just Avalanche Riders. I kind of just want to live the dream playing Thassa into Avalanche Riders, but that might be just a little, a little too cute. I don't know if Mastery is good enough here. Like, Mastery is just going to end up in my hand. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Glint Sleeve Siphoner on two seems pretty good against them. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Shivan Fire also deals with Jace, which is why we're bringing it in. I mean, I'd rather be Burst Lightning, but... Yep. And that's why you play the red first. Sea Chrome Coast? What's happening? Where's this white coming from? Missed the land drop. Absolutely fascinating. Man, my kingdom for a sulfur falls. My kingdom for a land that comes into play untapped next turn. <sighs> if they miss a land drop when we get to go Avalanche Riders, I'm pretty sure that's... Oh, uh... <laughs> they, they mill two islands? Oh, wow. Yikes, Arenos. Come on. Yeah, they're about to Ancestral, but, like, I mean, if, if they're two or three lands behind, like, it's still... Oh, that was perfect. Oh, man, that was, the, that was it right there. I mean, there are two lands behind us right now, so... Probably one land behind us, I guess. But they are on the... They're on the play, so... Just discarding? Seems good. Nah, we're definitely not paying. Okay, so we have nothing to do and we didn't pay. That's lesson learned. We still get to give up Snapcast or Shivan if they want to, like, um... If they want to, like, Vendillion click us. Gadwick the Wizened for one card. Um, I kind of just want to Doomblade this idiot, right? Yes. Oh, we just got the Windmill Slam at Karanos? Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. Yeah, Burst Lightning, Shivan ain't. Buddy, you ain't kidding. Ooh, nice. I have a Katanos of my own. You got it. But do you also have a Liliana of your own? The answer, good sir, is no. More like Kara Dose. I feel like they actually kind of wanted Lightning Bolt there to be able to get rid of one of the threats because they're at eight. I mean, imagine they're just kind of trying to bounce this. That's similar to bouncing, but like, okay, sure. So if we draw like a spell, we just get to kill them, right? No, I guess they go to they go to one. Red source? Red source would have killed them. But I actually don't know how they stay alive. Snap bolt. Yeah, that'd be great. That would be nice. But again, not burst lightning. Um... Let 
No, you can't shiver in fire face. It's not burst lightning. It just deals damage to creatures. Again, they have to deal with everything here, and we get to keep up V-click, so... I don't even know if clicking ourselves was a meme. It might actually just be a strategy. Like, if we hit... See, we... the problem is I played a land haphazardly. Like, we could have hit another red source and then played Chandra and killed them. But I really don't think it's a big deal at this point. I think we can just safely pass. We have two creatures and a Karanos that are all lethal, plus a third creature in hand. And Karanos is not doing them any favors when it comes to removing our threats. If you had Boros Reckoner, you could Shivan Fire Face. That's actually pretty hilarious. I have no idea what you're going to be able to draw here. That's going to get you out of this mess, but I think we're probably going to going to going to, ma going to match three here. And we are. All right. People, all right. Let's finish this draft arena out. <laughs> You and I should get along so awfully. Barrel, barrel, barrel. Ah, uh, this hand seems fine. Oh, mold of six? Oh, yeah, do it. Do it. Sometimes I'll see Frank take a break and realize it's probably a good time for me to take a break. Maybe that's true. You know what? Maybe that's Thank true. Thank you. Steven C with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. 37 months. Jesus. Jesus. I guess we just get the other Triome, right? We can't get a blue source with this anyway, so the best we're going to be able to do is get Triome. Oh. Well. Isn't that special? Hmm. I don't understand what makes a man hit another man. I think we can easily take two. I think we just play the Croxa here, actually. Maybe? I think we just keep Doomblade up. We don't have a turn three play anyway, so I'd rather just keep the... We have two, 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 two drops. Plus, having Doomblade Arid, and Arid Mesa in the graveyard is pretty good for murderous cut, so I'll take two here. Oh, they didn't do anything. Okay, well, we're definitely killing it. And then Croxing. Manatai. I don't even know if Manatai is in this cube. I have no idea. Can't understand what makes a man... It is. Well, they don't have mana, so they're definitely discarding a, a dude. 
it is Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> See, that's where the chat comes through for you right there. That's pretty hilarious. I wish I could get a blue source of this. I can't, right? I can only get Savai, Savai Triome. Oh, we just won the game. Okay, but we still would have had Chandra mana, which is pretty good. So. Okay, a bunch of... I, I assume we're playing like a mono-white Dirtle deck. D -d -d Dirtle deck. Sora can go. Click can go. Croxa can go. Let's bring in Extinction Event because it is mass removal. I'll bring in Forked Bolt and Shiv and Fire. Maybe we can take out Gonti. I don't want to go to 12 creatures though. I mean, Flame Slash should be just better than Shiv and Fire, right? Even though it's an instant. I'm going to keep this hand because we have Mizzy Mortars and Glint Sleeve Siphoner. And again, any blue source turns this hand into something beautiful. Taking, taking their time here. Mm, sure. I'm relying on your common decency. Drawing an extra card every other turn is still fine. Banalish Marshal. Kitchen Finks. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's worse. Um, yeah, we're not going to play anything else. We're not going to Mizzy and the Kitchen Finks. It has Menace. <laughs> that is not how that works. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Good times. I got real scared for a second. I was like, wait, what? Huh? Okay, so there's no way they're going to be able to block this guy now unless they play two guys. And that's fine. I will destroy that. And I'll draw an extra card. No blue sources to be found, unfortunately. But, yeah, we're definitely killing this thing. Could have gone there, but I'd rather not give them the Luminous Broodmoth pleasure. Gideon, Baneslayer Angel. Okie dokie. Removal spell. Another blue card. God, this really happens frequently, doesn't it? <laughs> Twice in two drafts. The Teamer deck and the Grixis deck. Missing the color that we have nine sources of. Can vegetarians eat bacon? No. Oh, boy. These are all terrible. Um, Wall of Omens, I guess, because it lets us potentially hit something and it blocks kitchen things quite well. So is the other guy, I guess. What are these questions you guys are asking here? I'm definitely blocking kitchen things because I don't want to take I have six eight nine quit four. Man, E2 extinction getting rid of 
odd costed creatures would be nice here, but we do get two draws. I'd also take a blue man and a copy Bane Slayer. Flicker Kitchen Finks? Okay. Oh man, E2 Extinction would be amazing. Not E2 Extinction, Extinction Event would be amazing. Oh wow. Oh god, Extinction Event one time. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah. Well, not done yet. They have no cards in hand. Oh, well, we should have just actually... Yeah, should have just played it on our turn, I guess. God, untapped blue source means we would have been able to copy this and then also kill it. It would have been pretty good. The top decks are so real, guys. Yeah. That's pretty good. Sure. Sure. Three, four, five, six. We go to one here. That's cool. Also worth noting, if we kill the Fairgrounds Warden, they get their own creature back. <sighs> six drop, six drop, six drop, five mana. Seems good. We can actually get Fairgrounds Warden. Copy Fairgrounds Warden, rather, and get rid of, like, this, and then Dreadbore this. I actually think that's fine. Does that do it, though? I don't know. Let's find out. It only gives us one blocker, I guess. Yeah, we'd still be dead. Then we dreadboard this guy, we block here, and they kill us. Yep. Yep. No real way around that, unfortunately. Wow. We had tons of spot removal, too. It's, I feel like when we, when we sideboard it, actually, our matchup gets worse. Sure. Hey, look, we got all our colors now. Okay, I, I get it. Copying Kitchen Finks might have actually done it. What do they have? They had a 1-3, a 3-1, and a 3-3. Three, three. No. And the Kitchen Finks themselves, which is a 2-1, right? So, we were at 1. We go Kitchen Finks. We have a 3-2, and we're at 3 life. And we can Dread Bore their Flyer. So Dreadbore the Flyer takes out the 3-1. We block the 3-3. Three, three. We still take 1-2-3. Yeah, I mean... Actually, if we block the 3-3, three, three, the first strike does kill this guy. 
So we get to bring it back, get another two life from Kitchen Finks. That actually would have kept us alive for another turn. Yeah, that is an out. That was a, that was a play. Um, I think we can take two here. Kitchen Finks again. Just passing here. Scra Scrabble God next turn seems pretty good. Karanos also seems good after that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, assuming we can draw another black source here. Yeah, I'm definitely killing that guy. Oh boy. Um, one, wait, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I'm really just hoping they don't have Fairgrounds Warden, but even if they do, we get to play Karanos. We take three, four, six, seven, we go to seven. And that's kind of their turn. Moth? Face Fetters? Conclave Tribunal? Conclave Tribunal. Yep, that would also be good next turn. Red. Again, <laughs> missing a second black source with two six drops in hand, but. Must be nice. Forsake the worldly against the Grixis deck. What did you see? What did you see that you bring this in against? That's wild. I'm pretty sure I haven't cast Karanos this match, especially when I didn't have any blue sources last game. Okay, well, they have one card. If we can survive this turn, we get to play Grave Daddy, which could be very, very good here. Block here, take two. Seems good. Deal. Come on, just have nothing. One time. Daddy needs a 2 1. Come on, let's do it. Okay, they have one card. Play to land. Oh, Billy Biscuits. Billy Bobby Biscuits. Oh, like Grave Titan's art is friggin' horrendous. It's literally just a big giant with bodies falling out of its body. You know what? I ain't getting manatized. Grave Titanus. Also not going to attack into both of these guys. Uh, I mean, we can just Liliana next turn, make them sack two creatures. We sack two zombies. 
draw two cards and then attack with both of these guys, which seems much better. Okay. Forked Bolt here would be bananas. It's in our graveyard. So they keep... What do they keep? Kitchen Finks and Golem, right? So then, like... We get to draw two, though? I guess they would probably for sure sacrifice the, um... The Kitchen Finks, right? Yeah, it's Kitchen Finks Blade Splicer, right? Nice. We play a land? Oh, we did not play a land? Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. 2-1. Not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapoormanagers.com. Cool stuff, Inc. Every Wednesday for new articles. Patreon.com slash franklapore. You can also get great deals at manatraders.com. 20% off your first three months of any subscription along with uh, the link and promo code down below, so be sure to click those. And you can also get 68% off in one free month a two-year subscription from uh, nordvpn.org slash franklapore. So be sure to check that out as well. Those are great ways to support the channel and also great deals. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.